Well, the Mecklenburg school leaders say that they are aware of a potential threat at one of its campuses. And the principal of Butler High School sent a message out late last night that the school received a threat through social media. Queen City News reporter Savannah Rudisell is live at Butler High School this morning. Good morning, Savannah. Good morning, Ann Wyatt and Jason. Classes are now underway at Butler High School. It's a pretty calm scene here at this point, but there is still uh, officers here at the school. We've got two Matthews police officers here with their cars sitting right out front of the school. All the while they investigate what kind of threat this was that was made on social media, whether or not it had any credibility to it whatsoever. Last night, Butler High School parents got uh, a message from the principal asking them to remind their students of the seriousness of these kinds of situations, whether these threats are false or whether they are true. He says that this, uh, uh, the school district, as well as the administration here at the high school, take them very seriously. This is a look now of a little bit earlier today as more students and staff members were, were coming into class here this morning. Uh, we had a few more of those Matthews police officers again wanting to make people feel safe and wanting them to understand that these kind of actions, these threats made on social media, they do still have consequences. Now, CMS says that they will discipline students according to the student handbook. And so we took a little bit of a look inside the student handbook and found that there are actually five levels of infractions. The maximum response for a false threat is long term suspension or expulsion, but it's a little bit different if anyone actually brings a weapon to campus. It outlines quote by law with limited exceptions, student must be suspended from school for 365 days for bringing a firearm or destructive device onto school property. Again, that is just what the handbook says. That is just vague as because this is a, a student student involved situation and because this is a, a, a threat uh, made online, the CMS officials are not saying very specifically who made this threat or what shall happen to him. This is just in general, giving you an idea of what may possibly happen. Now, as to how often this happens, uh, CMPD leaders say it's getting more and more uh, popular to do is they're, they're dealing with an increasing amount of them. We're going to talk a little bit more about how they track these kinds of threats coming up here in our next half hour. Reporting live at Butler High School, Savannah Rudisell, Queen City News.